Transforming Data in Snowflake. Hi, I am M. Asif Hussain from Nohav Academy. In this video, we are going to see how to transform the data. Transforming the data using select statement. So let us walk into it. In our previous videos, we have seen how to use the copy command and how to load the data from our external stage into our Snowflake. So now the here important point is that we have loaded the data from our external stage into Snowflake. But if you want to do some sort of transformations, so how should we do that? Transformations are everywhere. If you take data analysis, if you take Power BI, transformation of data in Power BI is compulsory. If you take SQL, transforming data in SQL is compulsory. So in the same way, in our Snowflake also, sometime or the other in real time when we are working in, we have to transform the data. What kind of transformations we have to do? Again, it depends upon the requirement. So when I'm talking about the transformation, how should we use it? That I'll walk you through it here. So if you see it on the screen, I am copying some data into my first database that we have created. And from rather than writing my AWS stage from which external stage I have dragged my data rather than writing my at the rate AWS stage directly, what I have done, what I have done, I am using the select statement. I am using the select statement. So what exactly this select statement is having? If you see here, select yes dot dollar symbol one. What is this S dot? If you see in the last, in this particular select statement, AWS stage space yes. So if you are aware of SQL, SQL queries, we call it as an alias name. What is alias name? Rather than mentioning AWS stage, the complete word all the time repeatedly, we can just give some alias name like in the place of AWS stage rather than mentioning AWS stage in every step, I'll just mention yes. So yes will be directly indicating my AWS stage. So the other name for AWS stage that I have given is yes. That's where we call it as an alias name. So what I'm doing? So S dot dollar sign that I'm giving it where I am mentioning my column one comma AWS stage, which is my alias name. Yes. Dot dollars. I am mentioning, which is I have my column two from where, from where I have to get it from my managed database, which I have created. So in this case, let me take you the sample database that I have created and from AWS stage and from what file we have it from order details, uh, CSV file that we have dragged into it. If I try to execute this one, it is giving me an error telling that the order EX table does not exist at all. We have to create this table first. So for this, I am using create command or replace table in my our first database where I'm creating a new table called order X with two columns, order ID column and amount column. So order ID column is column one. That's where I have considered first column amount is my column two, which I am considering it as my second column. So now if I execute this particular table, you can see that my table is successfully created. So if I execute this particular using a select statement and show it, then we can see that my two columns are there in a table with the name order X table. There are two columns. One, I have order ID column. And another one I have amount column. These two columns are there. So now the point is that now the point is that we have to copy the data into this two table, two columns in the table order X. So how should we do that using this copy command and where I have used a select statement in it. So I am clicking on execute. So when I'm executing it, it is giving me a message, a status that the data from order details CSV, it is loaded successfully. It is successfully loaded. If I want to see the values under this one, I'll execute it. I'll execute it. Then we can see that the order ID, the column and the amount column, both the columns are having the data. So both the columns have the data. 
so now the interesting point is that if i would like to do some sort of transformations okay such as i have added two columns order id column amount column and i have executed it now i would like to add another column into this one so for example i have to i want to add the profit column i want to add the profit column where i have considered it as integer and we have profitable flag which is var care so let me execute it let me execute it so table order ex successfully created so if i execute this one then we can see that my profit and profitable flag columns are there earlier i had only two order id amount now i have two more which are completely four columns that i have so coming back now if we see here if we see here i am doing a small transformation what kind of transformation here i am using a subset of function of sql okay so it the snowflake it will have the access and it is giving us the feasibility to use some of the sql functions as subset we call it as a subset functions which we use it in snowflake which is clearly available in google in snowflake documentation now if you see here i am copying it into my order ex table with my our first database from i am using the select statement for my first column second column and third column where it is my order amount and profit the word i am using case case statement i am using case statement if you are aware of sql we use it a case statement case when when is a keyword when we use case we have to use when i am using something called as cast what is this cast function okay so for example i have some other data type i want to convert it into some other data type for example my column is in some uh, decimal data type i want to convert it into integer data type or if it is in some character i want to con i want to relate it with the integer data type so the cast column i am using it where i am comparing my third column with the integer value and what i am telling if this condition satisfies case when this condition satisfies then i have to get the result as not profitable and for rest of everything i have to get the result as profitable as i have started the case statement i have to end the state uh, case statement by writing the keyword end here and all these are very common from which database i have taken the thing and from which aws stage what is the file format what is the delimiter how, what is the skip header okay and from where i have to i have taken this order details csv file now if i execute this one you can see you can see that my status is loaded the copy the data that i have to load it is loaded using a copy command if i execute this particular uh, statement and if i would like to show you the order x table what is the condition if it is less than 0 not profitable so see this everything which is under negative i am getting it as not profitable and whichever is greater than 0 which are in positive values i am getting it as profitable and that's what we want okay so this is the transformations i have done what i use i have taken a cast statement where i have converted the data type if i would like to still show you one more uh, transformation for an easy understanding i am considering another column called as category substring rather than just taking the category column i am taking the substring uh, as in a category column so if i create this particular table with my existing table itself order x so it is successfully created so if i execute it we can see that we have the category substring column created now in this category substring column what i am trying to do okay i am using the substring you know substring again that is a keyword so i am taking this substring okay and s is my alias name for aws stage and 5 is my column name okay so what i am considering i am considering the first five characters first five characters from my column 5 for example if it is electronic device the first five characters e l e c t first five characters i am going to get it 
the substring so the whole electronic device is a string and out of which i am considering the substring of first five characters so if i execute it if i execute it we can see that the status is loaded if i execute the query it is very clear that i got my first five characters it is furniture so f u r n i t u r e the whole, from the whole word i got f u r n i first five characters clothing i got first five characters so from a string how to extract the substring that also we have seen it here so like this there are multiple transformations that we can do as i have already told in my previous videos that the whole snowflake will be very easy if you have the prerequisite knowledge of sql if you are working on sql worksheet python if you are working on a python worksheet so it is very easy for you depending upon your requirements in the real time scenarios when you are working in a company the transformations there are multiple transformations where you can refer snowflake documentation for this depending upon the real time requirement every individual will be having every individual organization in individual user will be having different kind of transformation scenarios in their real time that you can work it on depending upon the scenario but how to do the transformations i have shown some of the examples here in this video so thank you for choosing nohub academy as your source for it knowledge we are always here to help you to navigate the tech world if you have any questions do not hesitate to reach out it's been a pleasure sharing this information with you stay curious and keep learning